Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will take a look at my overhead valve, overhead cam, Lego vacuum engine. For those who do not know, what an overhead valve is, is where the valves actuate from the top of the cylinder, or usually in the cylinder head. Which the head is this part right here that goes on top of the cylinder, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the reason for this valve being left open is because it does not use a valve spring. It uses the suction from the vacuum to um, pull it up. This other valve uses an actual Lego spring uh, and that's contained inside of here. It's kind of hard to see, but you have real Lego cams in there. I will not take it apart right now, but I will at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I want to give a small introdu introduction before we get into the actual running portions and then at the end we will have a full video a full overview and full in-depth um, segment if you want to call that sorry I'm at a loss uh, at a uh, loss for words right now my brain's not really working it's late at night and I'm recording hope you enjoy let's get to it so specifications for this engine it uses an overhead cam which, as I already showed, is a lobe that pushes down on the valves and goes around in that way. It is about a two and a half stud lift, so the, which means that the valve goes into the cylinder head about two and a half studs or close to that, which means that you get better airflow because some only use about one stud, which dwindles down performance significantly. Um, the valves are real popette valves, as you can see. And I know this one's really annoying because it's hanging down, but when it's running, it does stay up with the um, <coughs> it does stay up with the vacuum holding it up. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it uses a six by eight piston, which is a very large piston, and so that is why it goes fairly slow. But I do believe this is one of the fastest in the world. I cannot prove that, but and I do not claim this to be the fastest, but I think it is definitely one of them. There was a s small trend here recently to make one of these. Uh, me and my buddy, Engine One Ear, I will link his channel in the description down below. He gave me this idea and showed me a lot about this. He was the original creator of this design, for those who do not know. Uh, a lot of people use that design, but not get credit. But, uh... Yeah, I think this is becoming too long of a short introduction, so uh, let's get to the running portions.
I was going to try to get a slow idle for you, but this engine does not like slower idles because it relies on that constant source of vacuum to hold the valve up, and when you lower the um, amount of vacuum to let it idle lower, it also affects the amount of spring tension that vacuum is able to, to get. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's got real cams in here, just like a real engine would have. The only differences are the cams are not 90 degree offsets. These are 180 degree offsets. But other than that, it's got real lifters in there. As you can see, those get pushed down. And you can't really see too well, but those go onto those valve stems where that red piece is, kind of hard to tell. But uh, it goes onto those valve stems, like is inside of there which lead to the real poppet valves, which are a very unique thing in LEGO engines, especially the circular ones. But it is a two stud stroke, which is what I call this. Some call it a three, stro three stud stroke, but if you think about it, the piston is all the way down, and that's one stud. And then as it goes around, that is not one stud. And then it goes to the top, which makes it a two stud stroke. So. Hope you learned something in this video. I will go into the deep, the in-depth part right now. Don't want to make this video too long, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into the in, the uh, in-depth right now. All right. So if you want to build an engine like this, I will not do a tutorial, but because I do believe part of making this kind of an engine, at least, I'm sure a normal vet, like a vacuum engine for a beginner to get the concept down. I think those tutorials are great. But I will not do a tutorial for this engine solely because I think part of the fun of these engines and part of learning these engines is that you actually experience building one of these from scratch using your own designs, your own trial and error, and using your own practices to make a real working Lego vacuum engine that uses real principles. I did that for myself with a little bit of help from my buddy engineer or engine one ear in the like I said link in the description down below he gave me the inspiration for this and gave me most of the ideas to use real cams and poppet valves I had wanted to do one of these engines for a while but never knew if it was possible or not he showed me his proof of concept a few months ago which yes that is how I know his is the very very first one he showed it to me at least six months ago so he has had his design out for a very, very long time, just never before seen. So, as you can see, it has real cam lobes on here, which, I said, are very, very realistic. The only difference is that is cam profiles, which real engines have different cam profiles. That is actually what VTEC is. You, ever, you hear about VTEC, and that is just the switching between a different cam profile. So, for example, you could go from a two stud. Sorry for that brief intermission. I ran out of space on my phone while recording. But uh, yeah, I was actually getting ready to wrap it up anyways. Basically, another principle is you need a large flywheel like this because without it, you would not be able to get over spring tension. Now, if you have a two cylinder, then you might be able to get over it, but it's unlikely. I might also end up making a two cylinder, not too sure, but uh, yeah. So some of my future video ideas, just in case you want to subscribe, is I'm going to do a throttle body tutorial. I know it's not a big deal, but I will also be making a performance Lego vacuum engine tutorial in the ensuing month. I am not too sure when I will get to it because I'm planning on ordering all the parts for it. And I will give three instructions in the description below when it does come out. So, if you all want to stick around for that, please be sure to subscribe. And, um, yeah, if you want to see more content like this, a sub really, really does make me more motivated to make better content and to really make more of these style engines as well as just more Lego Technic stuff, just overall, just more content. I really does, it really does motivate me a whole lot when you do subscribe it really gives me a warm feeling and to know that people like my content and uh, yeah if you have any questions about this feel free to hit me up with the comments down below or 
go to the description down below and you will see a a link to a discord that discord is mine as well as kf plus lego masteries official discord server um you can hang out with me and him and tons of other youtubers um one of that another one is lemons and oranges uh lel's technic workshop many many youtubers there even hamburger head or need for sneed now and uh yeah a lot of new youtubers and a lot of growing youtubers are there as well if you want to support them uh, another one is red shoe box uh, he's a lego technic builder if you haven't heard of him but uh yeah if you want to support us please be sure to join the description down below if you have any questions do that as well we will be there and we do help a lot if you need troubleshooting we're there we help out and we have helped almost a hundred builders to, to this date so yeah if you're one of those please be sure to join don't hesitate and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in, in the next one see ya